Teams and representations from the Highlands to the Islands gathered to partake in the weekend's festivities in the quiet, scorched and once desolate town of Arawa. While the tournament was the biggest of its kind in the country, the end result was far greater than just the successful staging of the event. The experience alone coming here um, is in line with our uh, objective of the tournament, which is to bring peace. This is the first time they're coming together like they've never done before. This is an absolute uh, intervention of peace into Arawa, which is to many people around the world is the heart of the civil unrest, you know, 22 years ago. Today is totally different. Today you would not even think that this sort of situation we were placed with many years ago. Today you're seeing kids running around throwing a, a rugby ball with the message for hope and peace. Peter Chamlili Jr., a firm believer of rugby's ability to drive peace, has and will continue to use the code as a rehabilitation tool for communities throughout Bougainville. Witnessing in the last two days where there's kids and mothers and families all coming out here, it's been an absolute uh, blessing. I can't speak of how wonderful this event has been and the, the, the impact it has had, particularly for the uh, Bougainvillians or the, the young men and women that have been part of this civil unrest. But the prospect of taking rugby into other communities does not just end in Arawa. Moving forward, the union has plans to take the Black Orchid concept into South Bougainville, a move that will complement the desired outcome of instilling peace and harmony throughout the entire island. Lorraine Genia, National MTV Sports.